So that was just a follow up from the um, Cooper's Irish Stout. Here we are 10 days in yesterday while fermenting. Nine days. I put uh, two thirds of this in. I love a good coffee. And I tried it as I was putting in the keg and oh, very nice. So final gravity. I don't usually do this or check it, but just for the sake of a video, why not? Oh, here we go again. Start finish beer. We started out around the 100, that's where she floated to. Now, she's about 120, which I guess 1200 in scale, I don't know, I'll have to have a look. So she's sort of bouncing off the bottom. And I just used in this one what came with it. Usually I'll use the uh, Morgan's English Ale yeast. Works awesome. But I can't say this one done any different. I don't know why people say don't use the yeast that comes with it. it Seem to be bubbling away for six, seven, eight days, maybe nine days, no problem. So my supplies, I'm in Melbourne, Victoria, I get from Epping, great mob over there at the Artesians Batiga, give you a little plug there guys, service is fantastic, and this is the Haynes Lubrifilm Plus, which I've put on the uh, the keg posts around the O-ring, just to make the connections glide on and off. Uh, I'll show you my little kegs. So this is the one we've just put the 19 litres in. While I was at the Artesians Batiga, I treated myself to a brand new keg, feeling pretty special. I'll just zot you over to my little setup, homemade of course. And this is how I do it. This is uh, 50 mil thick polystyrene. Just chucked something together. So there's where I brew out of. I ferment in there. Works actually awesome. And to complement that little fella, I uh, sticky tape on one of these to get a temperature reading. I've got a Arlo net gear which looks at that when it's plugged in there. I've got a heat belt, only 25 watt seems to work perfect. 35 can get too hot if you're not monitoring it. And I switch that on and off via this little fella. Runs via your Wi-Fi. I like Grid Connect. And $32 for a twin pack. So thanks to my mate Sean over in Perth. Good on your brother. That was a gift. Awesome little unit this thing. I use it to run my beer, switch a garage light on and off, switch one of the lights off on and off inside. Works really good. Got myself a $35 15 litre stainless pot, which I stir all my mix up in, cheap as. And this fella, once I sticky tape the, um, the temperature gauge to the fermenter, then I sticky tape this over top with a bit of styrene, just to get a nice accurate reading. Bit anal I know, but eh. Whatever works. So there we have it. I managed to get uh, three bottles, 750ml bottles, plastic I think. Plastic I know. 750ml uh, I think they are. So I managed to get three out of them, put two carb drops in. And we'll see how that goes. The taste is a little bit different from the keg to the bottle, to the plastic, but. Um, I don't mind either. <laughs> if you're a bit of a pisshead like me and take anything that comes, you love it all. 
and as always the beer on tap pretty much where it sits when I'm running around if it gets too low I just pull the button off she goes well thanks for looking guys might get into a few more of these videos we'll see if I can help someone out there through my experiences good or bad so be it cheers